With repeated trauma to an ear, you could eventually end up with a cauliflower ear or a wrestler's ear, which can be concerning cosmetically. A potential problem with cauliflower ear is that the external auditory canal, which is where the sound travels into, could get narrowed significantly and this could potentially decrease hearing. Now that would be a rare circumstance, but it could happen. How does a cauliflower ear occur in the first place? When you have a hematoma, they actually have done studies on rabbits and found that at two weeks, the hematoma will be reabsorbed by the body. The blood collection could be directly under the skin, it could be under the perichondrium, or within the cartilage. So for any of these three areas, when the body reabsorbs the hematoma, it will lay down scar tissue around three weeks. By eight weeks, it'll replace the fibrous tissue with cartilage, and by 14 weeks, it will form bone in some of those areas. That's why you can have a lumpy appearance to it. The more times this happens, the more disfiguring the ear can become. Now, if you get to the point where the cauliflower ear is affecting the hearing and it's very bothersome and disfiguring, the patient could see a surgeon. Generally, the surgeons who operate on cauliflower ears specialize in facial plastic surgery. One way to perform the surgery is to make an incision in the back of the ear. The skin and tissues are moved off of the cartilage, and the cartilage is contoured using various tools. Then the skin and tissues are placed back into their positions and are sewn down with sutures. The success rates vary and depend on multiple factors. Before having surgery, the surgeon will discuss the risks, benefits, and alternatives with you. If you have a hematoma or a cauliflower ear, please seek professional medical assistance. The information and content were created by Dr. Camacho.